If someone were to ask me why I make films, I wouldn't find it easy to answer. Not because there aren't any good and right reasons for my making them, but because there are so many. I think the truest answer would be that I make films for the love of it. I enjoy every moment of the filmmaking process. I write my own scenarios and my own dialogue and I find it fascinating to do so. I select my own actors, sometimes from among the professionals, sometimes right from the street. And when I do that, it seems to me that casting is great fun, because you're actually looking for flesh and blood incarnations of the characters you've dreamed up in the process of writing. Mr. Mrs. Mujumdar. Hello. Sometimes you have to work hard with your actors. Sometimes even an amateur, in his very first appearance before the camera, will do just the thing that you want him to do in the very first take. John. Shooting, of course, is the great occasion for the marshalling of forces. You, as the director, must plan and execute the strategy whereby man and machine will work in harmony to complement each other. This is hard work and needs any amount of patience. But the exhilaration of a shot well planned and well taken makes it all seem worthwhile. Editing is exciting too. But here, the excitement is on an intellectual level and it's controlled and subdued by the need for precision and tenderness in the handling of what, by the mere process of joining, begins to show signs of an independent life. Apart from the actual creative work, filmmaking is exciting because it brings me closer to my country and my people. Each film contributes to a process of self-education, making me conscious of the enormous diversity of life around me. I find myself trying, through my films, to trace the underlying pattern that binds this life together. This is the true stuff of the cinema, this dizzying contrast of sight and sound and milieu. And it's a challenge for any filmmaker to try and orchestrate it and shape its various conflicting elements into a work of art. <laughs> Before I made my first film, Pothir Panchali, I had only a superficial knowledge of what life in a Bengali village was like. Now I know a good deal about it. I know its soil and its seasons, its trees and forests and flowers. I know how the man in the field works and how the women at the well gossip. And I know the children out in the sun and the rain, behaving as all children in all parts of the world do.
My own city of Calcutta, too, I know much better now that I've made a film about it. It isn't quite like any other city in the world to look at. Yet people are born here and live and make love and earn their bread as they do in London and New York and Tokyo. And this is what amazes you most and makes you feel indebted to the cinema. This discovery that although you have your roots here in Bengal, in India, you are at the same time part of a larger plan, a universal pattern. This uniqueness and this universality and the coexistence of the two is what I mainly try to convey through my films.